Hi friends and welcome to Happy Planned Homeschool. In today's video, we're gonna talk about just my feelings, my kids' feelings, and how our first six weeks of this homeschool year actually went. Okay friends, we have completed our first six weeks of this school year and the best way I can describe it is that it went slow really really slow i feel like we've been homeschooling already forever slash not very long at all all at the same time if that's really possible if you're new here hi my name is tanya and i am homeschooling my nine-year-old eight-year-old five-year-old and three-year-old this year we have three girls one boy and it's our seventh year homeschooling and this year is just weird <laughs> like it's just different than any other year. It's our first year in a few years that we're not doing a co-op. My kids are doing no sports this fall. Um, I mean, our library in our town is still yet to be open. It's just kind of weird this year. I asked all my kids what they thought of this school year and how they thought it was going. And my daughter described it perfectly. She said, it's relaxing. And I'm like, okay, like I have mixed feelings about that, but I don't mind it. We um, started weird as well. We had three weeks on, one week off, three weeks on, one week off. And that's not normal. Usually I try to get a good five weeks in to get us really into the homeschool routine. And I felt like we were just kind of slow the whole time which is okay. We haven't really dived deep into science yet this year or our nature study hasn't been consistent. We've done like maybe two nature walks and one day of science, um, but it's okay. Like my son said he's loving his writing curriculum, which what mom doesn't want to hear that, right? And he's doing IEW this year my daughter is loving our history, which is new, which was really nerve wracking. My son doesn't love it, but my nine year old is my history bluff and she'll love anything I do history. Where my son who's eight just said he wants more crafts. Like we used to do a lot of hands on history and we haven't done that yet this year. And so I have a few things coming on Amazon, a few things up my sleeve that I am hoping will fill that little creative side in him. I did order a couple boxes from Unboxed History this year that I can't wait to share with you guys and let you know how that goes for us. Um, my five-year-old kind of just said she loves everything. We are kind of tweaked our schedule that second three weeks of school. I moved history kind of in the middle of our morning and that seems to help. And then we break after that and we go into our individual work. So that has really kind of made a difference in our homeschool schedule. This year has just been different because we're doing a lot of school in the afternoon and it used to just be my oldest that would do writing in the afternoon. But now that I'm also working with my three and my five-year-old in their individual like reading and um, I call it their like kinder preschool one-on-two time, it's like, you know, we have more things to do in the morning and I really want them to play and have a good recess in the morning as well. So we're doing some school in the afternoon and my head still has to get around that. So that's where I think I've been struggling because I just feel like we're not getting the things done on time that I've set, which I don't really set times, but you know, like as a homeschool mom, I just feel like we need, like we should be done by lunch. But my kids are getting older, I have more responsibility, I'm homeschooling four kids for the first time. Things are just different this year. And I gotta remember, different does not look bad. One thing we are starting in our seventh week of homeschool is gonna be memory. And we used to do memory with our co-op. And I sat down with my kids and I'm like, we have really enjoyed this, do you continue to want to do it? And they all agreed that they did. So we're gonna start memory and that will be, adding in and then I also want to be consistent in our nature and our science this year. We are not doing co-op like I said so that means I need to really 
get some things going that are consistent. Like we used to always go to co-op on Wednesdays. What is, I needed to figure out as a homeschool mom and their teacher how to get some more things in our schedule. My gr girls, my five-year-old and my nine-year-old do have speech and that started last week and that has been good. It's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. They do a Zoom call back to back and that has helped and it will help continuing moving forward. And as well as I'm trying to get together with another neighbor that has decided to homeschool this year and we're gonna try to work together and meet up like every other Friday or every other like one day of the week and um, do a couple projects together or pick the curriculum that I'll share with you more when I look into it. And hopefully like the little things like that that we can add into our week um, or every other week keeps just me and them accountable of what we're doing and gives us that aspect of community. And that's something I know this year I've really started to miss. And just something to look forward to, <laughs> like, let's be honest, like this year is just weird. And I am still not used to it. I'll just say that. I have all the feels about all the things and I'm not used to it. I do have some notes in my planner and um, one thing I did write down is like, I said we're being really slow and we had been and relaxed. With our relaxed schedule, we weren't starting on time, which meant we weren't getting that good play break and I want them to have that. So I'm trying really hard to get back into my routine in the morning and treat homeschooling like a job that it is and get up, get myself going, and then I can make sure we start on time, make sure that we get that, I give them like 30 minutes of recess time that they can just play, relax, and that will help moving forward as well with their attitudes, with my attitude, throughout our whole day. A few things I'm really looking forward to is starting memory and inner memory is our hem work. Y'all, I love hymns and I am grateful that my kids are able to learn them and I have them all laid out. I've typed them. We're going to start our morning menus again, which I'll have a video coming very soon about what that looks like for us. I'm excited to do hymns. I love them. I love music in the house. I'm not a very musical person, but I love to listen to it and I'm excited for that. I'm excited just to be able to have the next six weeks to do homeschool and not have any breaks, interruptions. We have nothing planned but school for the next six weeks. And then hopefully adding in that fam um, friend time and with speech going on, that all keeps us accountable and we should just sail on through. I mean, that's the hope anyways. I would love to know, have you started your school year? When is your start date going to be? Leave me a comment down below and I would love to chit chat. If you started school, tell me how it's going. How are you feeling about this school year? Um, how do you feel may maybe going into the school year? Do you feel prepared? Are you doing co-op? I don't know if I mentioned our libraries aren't even open. So it's just weird this year. It's just weird. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It brings me so much joy. Um, and lets me know that you like the video as well as you like the content that I'm bringing you. And subscribe. I would love for you to join the family here in my little corner of YouTube. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.